What's going on people? So this right here, this was one of the last reviews that I saw on Anthony Levine's channel. Well, I didn't actually get to see the review because I don't watch reviews until I've actually seen it for myself. And I will never see it now because his channel was taken down for whatever reason, right? The way the YouTube stuff works, much like the algorithms and all the other things, the inner workings of it are pretty much just confined to only the people who, I guess, create those rules and stuff, really. Because if you want any insight into how things work, you're not going to get it. You can try to piece things together for yourself by, like, talking to people and sharing stories or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's all coming down to best guesses and ultimately just hypotheses. So, there is that. But going back to what I was saying here, like, it really does suck that the dude's channel was just kind of like, hey, like, you can't do this anymore, and that was the end of it, right? And it makes you think, like, okay, like, could this happen to anybody else? I and mean, obviously it could, right? Maybe one day somebody decides to throw some kind of copyright thing or whatever thing at me, and who knows? This could all disappear. And so from his perspective, he seems to have moved on and is fine with it. And I kind of feel like I'd be in the same boat, honestly, because as much work as I've put into this, it would suck for it to just be like shut down without me like shutting it down for myself. And I can't lie to you, you know, like pretty much every day before I sit here and knock out the whole what's going on people thing, I think like, why am I even doing this, right? Because I do enjoy it, don't get me wrong. I like to sit here and talk about stuff, share my thoughts or whatever. And like a good 10% or so of the comments that come in are pretty decent to like talk to people with or whatever. But just because I like doing something or anybody likes doing something doesn't mean you necessarily like want to do it all the time, right? Or at all. I mean, I like rock climbing. I haven't been since I lived in England and that was years ago. But anyways, it sucks. And his channel got shut down and then you're basically stuck with this huge gap where there was somebody putting out consistent solid reviews because he was, in my opinion, my favorite guy to watch because he had the variety of things. He had the production value and his personality was solid, right? So that's pretty much everything I've looked for in a video. And now that that's not a thing, you're just left with more people out there like me to watch. And how's that working out for you? Leave a message down below and let me know. Anyways, side of the box. Now that we're past all the stuff that some people skipped through. That's what's going on there. I saw these and I wanted them, but I thought maybe I'll wait for them to come over to the States because every other Hirachi that I have overpaid for came out to the States and then just sat. Like usually like a week or two later. So I thought I'd wait, you know? And then they just kept not coming around. So I pulled the trigger and gave End a fair amount of money because you know, one of those overseas shipping things. And now here they are, right? And I got the alert that they come out next weekend I think for on Nike but I've had these sitting around for a while I've just been kind of dealing with a backlog so in the in retrospect I guess I still should have waited but I did get them a while ago so that's kind of cool and there was a pretty good gap between back then and now but anyways let's go ahead and talk about these right here again this is the Nike Air Hirachi and whatever colorways on here Aquatone and Deep Magenta so let's go ahead and knock this out real quick though before we get into the actual review one of the things that kind of caught my attention was that they reminded me a lot of this past aquatone release uh 16 or 17 maybe i forget exactly when can't quite see it 16. so if, as you see like it's very much similar just this is more like a deeper purple and this is more of that magenta right but the, the vibe is the same now we can get into the review 20 minutes later. Across the bottom, down there, standard outsole, right? It's pretty much just your basic Hirachi. Nothing too fancy about that. Moving on up here to the midsole. Also, same thing as below. Simple stuff, all whited out. On the back, you've got that air thing as you generally do. Moving right along to the upper, right? The upper here, you're going to have a lot of the same stuff that you've seen over the last several months just a different color layout, right? But zoom in, in here just a little bit, around the toe box, you do have that leather. It doesn't feel as good as some of the other ones have felt, and that's not actually a knock on these. Some of the other leather has just been really good in some cases, right? It's been very hit and miss. 
And then moving on, just a little bit past that, you do have that standard nylon neoprene feeling toe box area with the same sort of material behind it, just in a different color. This time around, it's that aqua tone color, right? Moving over here to the side area, right? It's the same stuff as you saw around the toe box, simple leather. It's not amazing, like I said before, but it is good. I'll give them that. It's, it's fine, I should say, right? Especially for the price you pay. Always keep that in mind when you're thinking about the quality of things. So it's pretty much just gonna be your standard white, right? And then between that and the sealer strap, you do have some more of that magenta peeking through on that upper sock liner type of thing. And as I was saying, you do have this strap that goes all the way back around the shoe. It starts off in black. On the very back, it's gonna be in the magenta with Nike on the siding of it, or however you wanna look at that. And then down below that, you've got just a little bit more of like the the peeking through of the upper because this whole construction of the upper on the Hirachi, it is kind of like that whole sock style, booty style thing, right? Not unlike a Jordan 9 or something like that, you know? So you've got that, right? And you can kind of see in there just to give you like a shot or two of how that looks and stuff. So moving back over to the front though, over here you have these very standard flat laces like you see on a lot of like older Air Maxes and things like that. Nothing special about them. I do think it's fine, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't change it to anything because I don't think it really matters that much. Just standard white laces. And then at the very top, you have the, what's this? Air Hirachi by Nike, that's what that says. And then you've got the little logo on it in the middle. And that kind of mostly concludes the outside of this shoe, right? And so then as you look at, like, like I was saying before, the upper here, you can see there's a lot of perforations in it. and. If you catch it from the right angle, you can see a little bit of the other color, the magenta color kind of peeking through just a little bit. It's a little more noticeable on certain other colorways, depending on like what those colors are. I think I noticed that on that lime green color. But anyways, that's pretty much the outside. So let's jump onto the inside of this little booty thing and see what's going on in there. And as you probably guessed, what you have in there is that shield logo thing. It says Nike International. It's gonna be a tealish aquatone colored insole, and then the rest of it is gonna be that standard nylon neoprene type of upper, but just in the magenta because that's what's on the inside. And also looking at this now, I realize that it's the same colors of the first high school that I went to up in Newport News, Woodside High. I went there the year that it opened. So moving on from there. I think we've covered pretty much everything I said, well, I didn't really say, but this does feel nice and really soft, so I do like that. But past that, I think we've covered everything there is to cover about the upper. So let's just go ahead and move on and talk about my personal thoughts, right? Because that's where we go after this. So, I am definitely a Hirachi fan. I've said that in the past. I've done my little collection videos. It's no secret, right? And so when I see a new pair, if the color is right, I do want to add it to the collection. And then sometimes it doesn't take much, right? Sometimes it takes a little more convincing. This one, not so much. Because I looked at it and I just thought this is a pretty cool combination and it reminds me of those past ones that I talked about. So looking at them in hand now, seeing them for what they really are and all that good stuff, I would definitely say that these were worth me picking up. Are they worth you picking up? We can get into that a little bit later and give you some more information before you make your judgment. But at least from a visual perspective, I am totally into these. I would say they're probably one of the better pair that I picked up over the last, what, since January or February, I forget when they started making Hirachis for this year. But this is one of the better colorways in my opinion. You can go ahead and share what your favorite colorways are of the last several months down below. I've done reviews on most of them, not all of them, but most of them if you need a little refresher. But yeah, it's, it's cool. I'm glad they're bringing back the Hirachi. I said that if they brought back more of them, I'd buy more of them. And now I gotta put my money where my mouth is and actually buy them because that's how things work. If people know that you like stuff, sometimes they'll keep it going. So just keep that in mind when you're not buying the things that you said you were gonna buy. Cause I know some of you guys out there are like that. But anyways, I like these a lot. So that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk about the sizing and comfort and get this thing moved on. Okay, these are a snug fit. Most people will tell you that. And most people will tell you to go up half a size, right? Past your normal size. I don't do that because I'm cool with the way these fit as is, but 
if you are not sure where you stand with them, there are a lot of YouTube people out there doing shoe reviews, and I'm sure you value some of those opinions more than mine, and I totally get it. So maybe go see what somebody's saying that actually has an opinion you care to hear and see what they say, because maybe you guys are a little more on the same level, right? Maybe you see more eye to eye with them than with me. But my personal suggestion for myself is to stick with the normal true to size and enjoy that for what it is, right? Now, past the sizing thing, because that's all subjective, let's talk about the actual comfort of these, right? Once you do find out whatever size is gonna work for you, you're gonna like these, at least in my opinion, right? It's a pretty lightweight upper, so I do like that. It's very breathable in most conditions. I say that because sometimes, much like an Air Max Plus, they will have different styles to the upper as far as materials. This particular one right here, though, is the standard breathing, breathable style. So expect that if you do get a pair of these, that, you know, if you go walking around all day outside during the summer or whatever, you're probably gonna feel pretty good about it. Also, not just because the upper is solid, but because the lower midsole here is super cushiony, right? So I do really like walking around on that. It's a hard thing to top from the perspective of like older shoes, you know? There are some other things that can compete just fine or whatever, but the fact that this is 30 years old and is still something that I consider a go-to, that says a lot. Is it better than like a Presto or a Gelite 3 or, I don't know, a 5923 or whatever? That, it's actually kind of a toss up because to me they're all very much similar, right? I wouldn't see one as a clear winner over the other. It's kind of like, do you pick a tuna wrap or a tuna sandwich, right? They're both gonna get the same point across, so just what do you feel like doing in the moment? Go with that. Or go pick the one that has the best visual since the end result is likely gonna be the same. But just know that this is, to me, a very comfortable shoe, and I would suggest that to anybody, right? As long as you like the look of it. If you don't like the look of it, then so be it. Don't buy them, right? I'm not going to convince you to try to convince you to buy something that you don't want. It doesn't seem right to me. Anyways, I think we've talked enough about these, and you've probably seen enough of these, so I would say we can go ahead and part ways, right? I know the, the intro to this video was quite long, so I'm not going to drag this overall video out much longer. Also, I still got to knock out two reviews, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll be back with other reviews over the next couple days or however I decide to like lay these things out and a bunch of shorts in the middle to make up for all that crap I've been posting on Instagram and moving over to the YouTubes. So there is that. Later, people.